Hey guys, it's K through Chocolate or Christina and I wanted to show you how I created this look for Halloween inspired by Ariana Grande, so let's get started. So first I sprayed on some heat protectant and also a root lifter and then I'm just going and blow dry my hair straight and I will link all of the products that I'm using and the tools down below in the info box for you. I sped up this process so you don't get bored. So while I'm blow drying my hair, let's go ahead and add each other on Instagram. It's K through Chocolate. So then I put in some more heat protectant and went over my hair with a straightener. And I would love for you to leave me a comment down below and tell me what videos you want to see next. I mean anything, vlogs, tutorials, try on hauls, fitness videos, routines, anything. Okay, so now for the ponytail part, I'm taking some extensions and clipping them in upside down so that way they don't hurt my hair. And I do have a discount code for you guys for 10% off any extensions on this website, so I will link that down below as well. So here I basically double clipped some extensions and wrapped them around the ponytail to hide my short hair and also to make the ponytail higher. And then I just took the one clip weft and wrapped them around the base to hide everything. So moving on to the makeup, I'm first applying a primer to make sure that my makeup stays on all night long. Then for my foundation, I'm using the new Perlise BB Cream and I have two shades here. So first I'm applying the medium to my face. And make sure to always blend it down your neck and decollete area. So then I decided to also use the darker shade, which is medium deep because I do have a spray tan, so I wanted my face to match my body. And then I'm just blending everything with a damp beauty blender. And now I'm just using a concealer to brighten up my under eyes and also to highlight my nose bridge and chin. So for contouring, I'm using these two concealer kits and as you can see one of them melted but it still works. So we're just going to take a darker shade and contour the nose. I also like to put a little bit right there above the tip to kind of make it look pointy and like you have a cute little button nose. It's just like all an illusion. And then for the cheekbone contour, you want to put it as high as possible for the illusion of having higher cheekbones. Which by the way, I'm just getting over a cold. I had like no voice this entire week. I'm just not getting better so if my voice sounds kind of raspy, that's why. I'm also contouring my boobs to make them look bigger and I have an entire in-depth tutorial on that so I will link it down below if you're interested. So now we're just blending everything out. And then going in with the damp beauty blender again to make everything look seamless. And then I'm just setting everything with a translucent powder. I haven't used color powder in a while because I find that it just oxidizes over time and it doesn't look like the right color so I've been loving translucent powder lately. And then I'm just going over the cream contour with the powder contour.
And here I'm placing a little bit under my lower lip to create a shadow which will make your lower lip look fuller. And I do have a tutorial on this as well on how to make your lips look bigger so I'll link that down below. So I put on some eyeshadow primer and then I'm going into the blush which is from the new Urban Decay Chair Collection. And then for highlight, I'm just mixing these two colors from the same palette. And I'm also mixing the same two colors for my nose highlight. And then I'm taking one highlight and using that under the brow bone. And then also in the inner corner and lower lash line. And then I'm taking a brow pomade and filling in my eyebrows. And this was the hardest part for me to get right because my eyebrows are arched. But since I wanted this look to be inspired by Ariana, I tried to make my eyebrows as straight as possible because she has very nice, thick, bushy, straight eyebrows. And they slightly curve at the end, but for the most part, they're pretty straight. So this literally took me forever to get. I tried to make them as straight as possible without them looking crazy and totally fake. So this was probably the hardest part for me to do. And then I'm just setting the eyebrows with an eyebrow gel. So then for the eyeshadow, I'm using the new Cherry Palette from Urban Decay. So I took the fourth shade in the palette and used that as a wash of color all over the lid. Then I took the second shade and used that to blend out the edges between the highlight and the pink color. Then I took the ninth color and placed that into my crease. Then I took the second to last color and used that on the outer V. This was my very first time using the palette so honestly I was just playing around with the shades. And then I went back into that crease color and then I used the last shade and put a little bit of that in there. So I took the cherry color a little bit too far so I went back into the highlight and added some more of that. And then I went into the seventh shade which is a shimmer and put that in the center. Use my finger because I wanted to keep the shimmer. And finally, I'm taking the darkest shade again and going into my lash line to make my lashes look fuller. Then for my lips, I used this pink sort of neutral kind of burgundy shade to match the eyes and I'm lining my lips and then filling everything in. Now I'm going in with a matte liquid liner and doing a full on wing. I wanted it to be really sharp so I'm going in with some concealer and cleaning it up. And then again going in with the beauty blender you want to go in and make sure the concealer blends into the foundation. Then for lashes, I'm using this pair called Sophia from K1 Cosmetics and I do have a code for you guys which will give you any lashes for completely free on their website. All you have to do is just pay the shipping so I will link that down below as well. And then I'm just going in with a mascara on my lower lash line and setting everything with the cherry spray from the same collection. So I looked at the lipsticks that came with the collection but I decided to go with this other one from Urban Decay that I received a few weeks back from the travel collection. I just thought it went better with this look. And that is it. So make sure to check out the info box down below for all the product links. Don't forget to subscribe. I be on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It's all at K3Chocolate. I just made a new Twitch which is K3Fitness and a Discord. So all the links will be down below. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching.